Apophis, an asteroid almost as tall as the Eiffel Tower, which is supposed to hit the Earth by 2029 and have very destructive effects on the planet. And recently, it has made a lot of noise on YouTube. In this video, we are going to check whether this asteroid will really hit the Earth or not. And in case of collision, what destructive effects can it have on the Earth and the life on it? Has NASA devised a plan to deal with asteroids that are likely to collide with the Earth? And finally, let's check together. In what year will this asteroid come back to the Earth? And what is the probability that it will hit the Earth? If you are interested in ending your doubts about this asteroid once and for all, be sure to stay with us until the end of the video. And to support us, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to like the video so that the video is recommended to more people. Asteroid Apophis, with full name 999942 Apophis, is currently the closest asteroid to Earth. This asteroid has a length of 340 meters and a weight equivalent to 27 billion kilograms, which means something like 54 Khalifa Tower together. Due to its high weight and high speed, this asteroid has a lot of momentum, and in case of collision, it can bring a lot of force to the Earth. This asteroid was first observed in 2004 by the American Keith Peak Observatory. Scientists realize that this asteroid approaches the Earth from the Kuiper Belt every 7,500 years and then moves away from us again. This asteroid first passed in 2021 from a distance of 16 million kilometers from the Earth with a speed of about 29 kilometers per second. And this asteroid is supposed to return to the Earth again in 2029. And scientists in the initial estimate of 2.7% probability that this asteroid will hit the Earth on April 13th, 2029. But again, by applying new conditions, NASA scientists reduced the probability of its collision to 1 in 100,000 and gave the assurance that this meteorite will pass by 31,000 kilometers from the Earth in 2029. But the scary point here is that this distance is even less than the distance of some satellites that revolve around the Earth, and it may collide with them. But if this asteroid collides with the Earth, it can create energy equivalent to 880 million tons of TNT, while the Hiroshima bomb only had a power equal to 200,000 TNT, and this means a power equivalent to 4,400 Hiroshima bombs. Now calculate for yourself how damaging this asteroid impact can be, and it has the ability to create tsunamis with a height of hundreds of meters, or earthquakes, with a power of more than 9 Richter. But NASA, as always, prepares itself for possible dangers, even if the probability is very small. For example, the DART project is one of NASA's solutions to deal with the possible impact of asteroids that threaten the Earth in the future. This project was successfully carried out in 2023 on an asteroid called Dimorphos, and it was a great achievement for NASA and the entire world. This operation was such that NASA launched a rocket towards this asteroid. And when this rocket collided with the asteroid, due to its very high momentum, it was able to apply a lot of force to this asteroid and change its orbit. So far, we have found that the probability of this asteroid hitting in 2029 is almost zero. And in case of an impact, NASA has the necessary preparation to deal with it so there is no need to worry at all. But now let's go to the final question. In what year will this asteroid return to the Earth again? And the probability of it hitting the Earth will increase or reduce. At the beginning of the video, we said that this asteroid comes close to the Earth once every 7,500 years and then moves away from us again. That's why this asteroid will pass by the Earth again 
in 2036 and 2068. For 2036, this asteroid is supposed to pass a distance of 8 million kilometers from the Earth, which is 20 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. But scientists have estimated that in 2068, the probability of this asteroid hitting the Earth will increase. But still, according to the latest calculations, they showed that no danger will threaten the Earth in the next 100 years. Now you tell us, in your opinion, is NASA really prepared to deal with the external and space threats that threaten us or not? If you are interested in finding out what meteorites have hit the Earth so far, be sure to watch the video on the left side of the image.